everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with something kind of special and unique in 2019, and that is a flip phone. So I have the Alcatel Go Flip 3. So this is the latest and greatest flip phone that they have. It's available for Metro, PCS, and T-Mobile. Not only is it a flip phone, but it's kind of like a smart flip phone. It has built-in Google functionality in it. So what I mean by that, it has Google Assistant, it has Google Maps, and it has YouTube. So all three of those things built into this flip phone with the tiny little screen and all the other stuff going along with it. And what's really nice is you can do voice to text if you want to send text messages. So you don't have to just sit there and hammer it away on the numbers so you get the right letter and all that jazz. You can just do voice to text and you can send text messages easily that way, which is one of the biggest frustrations you know, in modern technology when you're trying to use a flip phone. So you have kind of the best of both worlds, you get a great flip phone, but you also have some smart functionality that makes life easier. So let's get into the unboxing and setup for the Alcatel Go Flip 3. All right, so here we are with the Alcatel Go Flip 3, the new flip phone by Alcatel for T-Mobile. They also have it for AT&T. It's under a different name, but it's pretty fancy. It's probably the first flip phone I've had my hands on in probably at least 13 years. And, uh, you know, probably even longer than that, but it's pretty cool, easy to use. Uh, it's got a 2.8 inch internal display, a 1.4 inch external display, a two megapixel camera, Wi Fi calling capable, Volte, V O L T E, or, or however you pronounce it, capable. Uh, I've never actually pronounced that before. <laughs> uh, music player, video player, FM radio, web browser, email, and calendar, 4G LTE capable, quad core 1.1 gigahertz processor, which is pretty fancy for a flip phone. Kai OS, simple to use interface, micro SD card support, and a 1350 milliamp battery, uh, which is al almost the size of the Pixel 4. <laughs> and it's a joke, I mean, it's 2800 milliamps. But either way, so here we are opening up the box uh, to take a look at the glorious contents inside. Uh, it's got the Google Assistant built in, like I mentioned, which is super fancy. And it's got a nice long battery, HD call quality. And here we are up close and personal with the new Alcatel Go Flip 3. We'll take these little stickers off of here. I mean, it looks pretty much like a pretty common uh, flip phone. Uh, my younger brother still uses a, a flip phone. And you know, so does my grandmother, a couple other people that I know. And I, I think there's still a place for flip phones for a lot of people. You got the volume rocker on the side there, the speaker phone on the back, so you can use that. The headphone jack there, so you can plug your earphones in. It's got a micro USB charging port. All right, so here you have a close-up look at the LCD screen with the little sticker that tells you what everything's for. Notices, navigation, menu, contacts, call log, hang up, power, all that good stuff. And then you have all the number keys, which just brings back some old memories. Uh, I can remember back to, you know, like the year 2000, whenever I had my little Nokia smartphone, uh, back when they used to have the uh, the typing contests and see who the world's fastest typers were on on phone keyboards you know, using the, the setup like this where you have to press the number multiple times to get to the right letter or symbol. We've come a long way since then, uh, my friends. But still, this is something that's nice. Uh, if you do need a flip phone, especially for 100 bucks, it's got some of the smart features in it. I think that's really novel, and I like what they've done with that, especially being able to do the voice-to-text stuff so you can send messages through dictation versus you know, trying to hammer them out on the, on the numbers and the keys. So there's a SIM card. It's got the documentation here. Go ahead and pop this open. It's got the quick start guide and all that fancy stuff. If you want to go ahead and read it, it's actually a lot, a lot of paperwork. I'm really surprised because it seems like there's more paperwork that goes with this flip phone than comes with my iPhone or my Note 10 or any of my other devices. So it's really curious to me that they have so much information packed in there for a flip phone. Uh, here we are with the charger. Like I said, it's micro USB, but since it's only got a 1350 milliamp battery, it shouldn't take too long to charge and you'll be back in business. So that's good to go there. Just plug it in. The port is on the side there. So easy peasy. And the battery does not come inside the phone. It's inside the box down here. So you're going to have to put that inside the phone. Easily done right there. There's a little notch on the uh, at the bottom right corner. You go ahead and pop that off so you can take off 
the cover. Now you can put your micro SD card in there. I believe it supports up to 32 gigabytes. And then you can put the SIM card in. It does use a nano SIM. So if you're using an older phone that has a micro SIM, you might need to go to your carrier and get a new SIM so you can put the nano SIM inside of there, which um, I'll get this here in a second, I'm sure, after I pick it back up here. Now, uh, all you have to do is just plug the SIM card in and you're good to go. This one doesn't have service, but I did want to put it in there to illustrate and show you how to install the, the SIM card in case you have concerns about that. And here is the battery. Now, whenever you get ready to put this in, you just have to pop it out. You see the little pins there. Those goes with the connectors. And just remember the sticker, you know, as long as it says Alcatel side up, you should be good. But make sure that's all lined up and then put the cover back on and you'll be good to go. And you can turn on the phone by holding down the end call or power button. Ta-da! So you can see the little Alcatel uh logo there as it, as it starts up and we have reached the bottom of the box i'm actually kind of surprised there's no earphones in here uh, especially with having a headphone jack and costing 100 bucks you would think that maybe they just throw a, a cheap pair in there and i'm assuming that to use the radio on here you're going to have to have a set of earphones plugged in that function as the antenna but also allow you to hear so uh, i would have liked to have seen that in here but i mean it's not the end of the world you can go to the dollar store nowadays and get a pair of earphones for a buck at a lot of places like Dollar Tree. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, just something I would have liked to see. But overall, uh, the build quality seems nice. Here's the initial setup stuff. You know, select whatever appropriate language you want to use. I've got it set for English. And go ahead and you can set it up and connect it to Wi-Fi, which is nice because like I said, it has Wi-Fi calling, which is really mind-blowing to me that a flip phone has Wi-Fi calling, but that's actually, that's actually very helpful because if you live in like a rural area or you, know, you don't have a good signal and you have a Wi-Fi router or your work or anything like that, you can connect and you can you know make your phone calls that way. So that's a really nice feature there. Now, I didn't set that up. I was having some uh, issues trying to put my password in. So we'll just go ahead and bypass that for now. You can bypass that um, going through the setup process so you don't have to connect it to Wi-Fi initially. But it's pretty cool, I think. All right, so moving along, schedule the auto updates. You can have that on or off. I would recommend on because you're going to completely forget to go in and do your updates if they ever pop up. Uh, you have to say that you're over the age of 16, and you can turn on analytic data and all that good stuff. But here we go. This is the Kai OS. This is the home screen. Now, it doesn't really expressly show you that the circle around the OK button are actually four buttons in itself because they don't have little differentiating lines on them that, that segregate them. So you just have to push on the appropriate part of the button. But if you hold press on the right side of it, it'll bring up the Google Assistant. The left side, it gets you to the app so you can see YouTube, Google Maps, the store, and the Google Assistant there all at your fingertips. And then you just hit OK. Uh, I did this here and I was expecting the Google Assistant to come up. But then I used my brain and realized that the SIM card that I put in there doesn't actually have any data. So if there's no data, there, I guess there's no Google Assistant. So you need to be connected to Wi-Fi or have your LTE data, as far as I know, for the Google Assistant to work. So it doesn't just magically uh, have all the answers on the phone. It sources them and pulls them from the Internet. So uh, I figured that out uh, after I put two and two together when I was messing with the phone. I was like, oh, yeah, durr, I'm not connected to the Internet. So there we go. All right, so you can check out the contacts there, hit the down button, and you can take a look at that. I don't have anything installed on there because, of course, I haven't been using the phone, but I figured I'd go ahead and show it off and just kind of show you some of the interface stuff. Uh, it folds up, closes nicely. You can see on the outside there, it gives you your battery information. It gives you the time. It gives you the date, which is pretty cool. Uh, I remember the, a long time ago whenever I used to have, like, a Sony Ericsson. I had, like, the Star Wars version one in, like, I don't know, probably 2001, 2002. And I thought it was the coolest thing listening to the TIE fighter noise every time I would get a phone call or a text message with people hated. <laughs> but here we are with the camera. I'll go ahead and snap a picture with this super fantastic two megapixel camera, uh, which is funny. I, there, there you go. That's what it looks like. Uh, on my first deployment in the year 2002, I had a two megapixel camera. So that's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, here we go. That's it with the unboxing video for the Alcatel Go Flip 3. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you like the video, hit the like and the subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you stopping by. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.